Reflection by Guzmitz, Zeltan, Danielle. Clocking in at under 3 minutes, this is one of the shorter films on our list, but that's mainly because it's to the point and simplistic story-wise. Released in 2017, it revolves around a woman who is getting ready for bed. She's in the bathroom brushing her teeth, where something appears to be behind her. She can't get a good look at them, so she turns around and sees nothing. This demon that the woman sees is inside a reflection. It isn't in the real world, but that soon changes. Now don't worry, I'm not going to be spoiling any of the films I showcased today. I think it's better that you witness the endings yourself. The links to all ten are down below. He Took His Skin Off For Me by Ben Astin This is a body horror perfectly presented through narration. Everything else is brilliantly shown by showing, not telling letting you draw conclusions. This short was released in July 2016 by vidc.com, who released a lot of other short films, but this is one of the more popular due to how eerie it is. A man takes the skin off for his girlfriend, as that's what she prefers, but many problems arise as his blood leaves messes all over the house. Some of his old friends came by. They asked him about his skin. Just normal questions you would ask. This and other troubles leads him to regret the decision. The project tackles many themes, mainly that one shouldn't sacrifice so big for someone that wouldn't do the same. The girlfriend soon regrets the same thing, but is shallow to him until it's too late. Cream by David Firth I'm sure you're familiar with this creator's other works like Salad Fingers, Crooked Rot, and Dog of Man, but I feel as if Cream isn't as talked about enough, despite being David's third most popular upload. Released in May 2017, it follows the creation and rise of popularity of a new product, the particular Cream. They explore how it's able to fix anything, not just the molecular structure of humans, but other creatures and inanimate objects. Is he dead? No. He exponentially improved himself, physically and mentally, to a zenith of absolute perfection, subsequently evolving into a being of pure light energy. It pretty much ends any problem with those doubting it having cream injected into themselves. But soon these problems came into the forefront as controversies arose that engulfed the world into chaos. It's super smart with the writing and world building, and of course the creepy animation. The astounding and vile visuals that make it stand out from the rest. The Jester by Colin Krawchuk Released by Mate Do Entertainment near Halloween of 2016, the short presents itself of a really compelling and interesting horror villain, the titular Jester. He's just so creepy but mesmerizing to watch. I actually like rewatch this multiple times just because of him. He stops a passerby to present simple magic tricks, which get more and more bizarre. This includes the use of the Jester's blood, which freaks this man out. The rest of the short follows his escape, which is difficult due to the seemingly magical powers this foe has. Due to its popularity with almost 20 million views, Make Do Entertainment has released two sequels to this, continuing the excellence showcased of such an amazing horror villain. Bingo the Clown by Chris Landreff This is the oldest short on our list, originally being released back in 1998. It's like a psychological thriller where our protagonist is being recognized as Bingo the Clown by many at the circus. But the man is confused as he is not this clown, but he is screamed at for even doubting this, which carries over. Bingo! Bingo the clown But I'm Hi Bingo! <clears throat> Music, please! <laughs> Soon, this gross creature made of money tempts him, making him believe he may be Bingo after all. The late 90s CGI actually helps the short by making it more unsettling. These other characters have bizarre and uncanny movements that just stick out. 
Plus the voice acting is outstanding here. Dear Santa by Travis Sherman A Christmas related short where a little girl waits for Santa to come visit. She's obsessed with him, so much so that she waits under a table just to observe him placing presents under the tree. But the figure that comes in isn't Santa at all, and the present he leaves doesn't seem to be anything suitable for a child. The short was released on Christmas Eve of 2016 from a smaller channel, and if the plot sounds a bit familiar, it's based off an old creepypasta called Santa Claus is Coming to Town. You may recognize it as Mr. Nightmare read it in a now deleted 2014 upload. The ending is changed from the original in a much darker way. I really like what they did here though, especially the camera work. Alexia by Andreas Borghi, a Spanish book and Argentinian film released in early 2015. It follows a man who distracts himself online, as today is the birthday of a deceased loved one. But another girl convinces him to let her go, and move on with his life instead of lamenting over the past. He finally unfriends her to strange and supernatural consequences. The way the messaging scenes are shot is really well done, along with the subtitles. They don't feel out of place and are only used for the necessary bits of the computer scenes, as in they read the important parts. It's such an engaging and well executed short. The Lyle's Dream by Robert Morgan Originally I was going to include one of Robert's other shorts, namely The Cab With Hands, but this 2017 step motion piece is one I've never heard anyone talk about. While put on YouTube, it was also released with the Blu-ray of Basket Case, a classic 80s B-movie. Now I'm not going to be showing a lot of this because it happens to be very sexual and violent in nature. It's gross is what I'm saying. It's mainly just a nightmare that Belial is having, which is torturous. He is harassed by various beings and is in a dream within a dream. It's kind of trippy and the sort of thing I wouldn't want to see late at night. I will definitely be looking closer into this channel in a future episode of Disturbing YouTube Videos and Channels. Smile by Yuval Markovich and Noam Abta A weird live-action animation hybrid made in Israel, created as a student project. The first upload of it I found was from 2006, so I assume it was released around that time. It follows a man named Yuval who visits some friends in this cluttered home. One woman sits on a chair with a broken leg. He asks her about this to receive this creepy response. How did you break your leg? <laughs> Throughout the rest of the short, he sees hallucinations of the white face staring at him. This nearly drives him insane until the ending. Despite the weird CG character designs, the atmosphere this presents is captivating and unique, which is very otherworldly. For a student film, this is incredibly impressive on so many levels. Still Life by John Knotts And finally, we end with one of my favorite videos ever, a masterfully presented short with an amazing twist ending. Won't spoil that of course, but I'll explain what's going on here. A dazed and drugged up man is running onto gas, so he pulls into a small town but accidentally runs over a mannequin. And other mannequins are around too, moving in a similar fashion to SCP-173. As in, they only move when you look away from them. He runs off once hearing the police sirens, ending up in a family's home and taking care of them. 
The ending, as said before, has an amazing twist that really makes you want to rewatch it from a new perspective. It's a genuine psychological thriller that many like myself will remember for years to come.